Welcome back to, back to Let's Play Mod Fallout New Vegas. This is James Seth Lynch, and this is Ringo. That's close enough. Who are you, and what do you want with me? Uh, if you're going to shoot, you'd better not miss. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of Caravan? You know how to play? What the frickin' he What? Uh, what the rule? Uh, I'm not even going to do anything. No, no. I, I have more important phys business than playing some card game. A man named Joe Cobb was looking for you, but I killed him. Uh, thanks, I guess. Cobb wasn't the problem, though. I could have handled him if he ever found me. Cobb's friends are the bigger problem. And when he doesn't get back, they'll be coming here for blood. There's no way I can fight them all. Yeah, you. This rolls the same way whether you killed him or not. Uh, though it does help to kill him because he's alone and he won't be with his friends. And this quest can be done either helping Ringo and helping Good Springs, or you can actually basically take over his little powder gang clan that really weren't that interested in taking over the town and take over the town yourself. Yeah. That, that's the great choices you have in Fallout, as opposed to games like Mass Effect, where it's really just fake choice. We have real choice. Uh, what are you going to do about the Powder Gangers? Or no, 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 here we go. Why are the Powder Gangers out to get you? My caravan was on the return trip from California, and heading back to the company branch in New Vegas when we got jumped. Not even a drop your weapons and hands up before the bullets started flying. We put up a good fight. But there was too many of them. I took a few of the bandits down before I ran, so I figure their friends are out for revenge. Also, this reminds me, the reason that uh, all these factions, the NZR and Legion, are vying for this territory is because the Mojave, despite being a desert, is actually an oasis. A No nuclear bombs actually hit this area. So the water is unirradiated, and the food is largely, well, unirradiated. <laughs> it's an oasis, yet it's a desert. But actually, if you go to other parts of the wasteland, they're just blasted and irradiated. So, yeah, that's why people want it. Lots of clean, unirradiated water. Uh, what are you going to do about the powder gangers? I'm going to lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Hmm. Maybe I can help. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... You don't think I can handle myself in a fight? I was thinking of myself, actually. Who's gonna watch my back while I'm watching yours? If you insist. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Yeah, she's been really friendly. Really friendly. <laughs> I shouldn't be hoarding all this stuff. Because I don't have a lot to carry weight. I'll loot this place later. I'm so glad I have Sprint Mod. This saves a lot of time and makes things blurry. Blurriness. Oh, and I should drink some water. Yeah, I need to drink water. Maintain hydration levels. You know, being alive. <laughs> being an organic inhabitant of Earth. Ah, uh, these are big corners. Mutant sheep things. You've heard about them. We've probably seen them a lot more than just that encounter. Hey there. Hi. Why do you two live in the same house? And why do you have the same voice actor? And why do you... 
Why do all the... Seems like some sort of... Lesbian polygamy. Uh, yeah. I don't think Joe Cobb knew what hit him. I'm hoping you took him down for a good reason and not for fun. It was fun, but it wasn't for a good reason. How's that sound? Uh, I'm a little short on caps. I don't suppose there's any work available? Not in good springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. Actually, I already cracked that safe, so useless info. Oh. Well, go ahead and keep the stuff I gave you anyway. It'll be more useful to you than me. Uh, I'm going to help Ringo take on the power gangers. I might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. We might die horribly. Well, maybe not me. That's inspiring. You may want to keep your optimism to yourself if you try to recruit anyone else. Even though Joe Cobb's dead, his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Any ideas on how I can convince Trudy to join us? A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. Chet would be willing to give us his supplies? I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. Where can I get Easy Pete's dynamite? Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before he handed it over. Huh. What do you do around here? I hunt geckos, mostly. The meat's pretty good, and I can always find a buyer for the hides. I also help keep the town clear of rad scorpions and coyotes. Not many people live in good springs, so wildlife is always creeping in. Hmm. All right, well, goodbye. I'll be waiting. Now, Trudy. Hey there. This quest is basically a sort of demo for the various skill checks. Basically, depending on the skills you have, you can get more reinforcements for the town. It also works this way if uh, you. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. I have ADD. If uh, you do the other route, which is uh, take over the town, though the skill checks are different. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang? It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Huh. <sighs> Goodbye. Be careful out there. Yeah, I can't get the checks right now, but I can if I have a special magazine that I'm looking for and not finding. <laughs> well, there goes that plan. Charge. Wait a minute. Don't you increase? Yes, yeah, you increase sneak. Okay. Yeah, so it's either sneak or speech for Trudy, and it's barter for this guy. And we wouldn't have enough barter, even if we... You looking to buy some supplies? Even if we downed the magazine. Uh... What do you have to say? Can do. Yeah, he's a greedy... Just... I don't really cuss, so... Y you get the idea. He's just greedy. Only looks out for himself. Selfish. Blah. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to buy... Th no, 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 no. Where's... Eight items. Where's the 
freaking speech magazine. Ah. Okay. Okay. He's now, yeah, you yeah. know. I'm not even going to try with him. I'm going to get nowhere with him. Vision batteries. Valuable. Especially for powered power armor. Anyway. Jump. 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 Loading. Doc Mitchell, where are you? There you are. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Uh, the town's going to be attacked by bandits. Anything you can do to help? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce, but I'll give you what I can spare. Yeah. Uh, if you're doing the good route, his, he has no check. He just gives you the stuff. Uh, but if you do have high enough medicine, you which I do not, you can actually get more, even more stuff. Specifically for uh, fixing broken limbs. Which is great. But I don't have enough medicine skill. I'm not a doctor. I'm a survivalist. I heal with food, not meds. I, I heal with food and herbs and stuff, but not meds. So, yeah, I'm just going to find the peak of his. Because I know I can get his check. Is, is the easiest for me. Hey! Howdy. I hear you've got dynamite. Would you help us beat the powder gangers? Too dangerous. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. I'm familiar with the care and handling of explosives dynamite included. Uh-huh. Guess you know what you're doing. I'll go dig it up and get it ready. You'll have it by the time the fighting starts. Alright, goodbye. Yep. So, yeah. The other checks, again, with Chet, it is leather armor. With Trudy, it is more reinforcements. And Chet will actually upgrade those reinforcements. Anyway, I'm just telling you because I might end up skipping these checks because I'm going to get them the chidi chidi manner because I want to. Uh, see you in the next episode. Bye.